Davido has decided to leave his daughter Imode for the mother to carry the responsibilities. So if you don't know what is going on, some time ago, Davido decided to file a lawsuit to have shared custody of his daughter Imode. 50-50 shared custody. So if there's seven days in the week, the mother will spend maybe three days with the father and then spend four days with the mother. That was what he wanted. And this, he decided to do this because Sophia has been coming to the blog and reporting that Davido is not spending time with Imodi. Davido hardly makes out time for Imodi. So because of this, he decided to go no five for 50-50 custody so that they can both have shared custody and see the girl equal amount of time to make peace reign. I absolutely thought that when he decided to do this, it would not be him going to the court. I thought it's something that he would discuss and she would agree. If you are saying that, oh, this man is not spending time with our daughter and the man wants to spend time with the daughter by having, you know, 50-50 equal share of the responsibilities, not just spend sending money, but at least the girl can come over and live with him. I thought she would be excited, she would be happy. But not be so. The first day that the news broke out that the video wanted to, wanted to do this, you know, the shared cost of the 50, she immediately granted a, she wrote a whole epistle. And in that epistle, she exposed that she and Davido have been knocking from 2020 to 2022. And in my mind, I'm thinking, it's like this woman, Sophia, she wants to be always involved in Davido's life. She does not want to just separate herself from Davido. Because I don't understand why a woman who is old enough to be in a marriage and in a stable relationship happens to be a single mother of a child that is almost going to be, you know, 10 years soon. I don't know if she's 10 years, I don't know how old she is, but that girl is, is on a reasonable age. An age where you'll be thinking that the mother should be, you know, have started another relationship, starting a family for herself, since things did not work out with, you know, the father of her child. If Sophia was serious, by now, she should be in her own committed relationship, if not married. But the, it feels like she wants to keep herself available and open. That's why she has not put in effort, you know, to secure herself a relationship and even marriage or even start having other children to serve her ties with Davido. Because I don't know why a Davido that you know is engaged, that then he was engaged to Choma. Choma lives in his house. He has a son at that time with Choma. Everything was going good with Choma. He comes to you. That you are not dating again. He comes and he meets you and he tells you, Oh, I'm not dating you again. No. I have a girlfriend, a fiance in the house that I intend to marry. But you, as my baby mama, I don't want to have any serious relationship with you. But I just want to be knocking you. And you, you open your leg and you were knocking him all this while. All of a sudden, people decided that you want to stop knocking. And you came to tell us. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because by now, you should be in your own committed relationship to a point where David will not have that kind of access to you. The fact that David will still have that access to you to the point where he can come and be knocking you, it means that you are not doing anything reasonable with your life. So now the reason that she is giving why she wants to fight against Davido's decision to have shared custody of the daughter, she is stating in her reason that because of the, you know, circumstances that are surrounding the death of Davido's late son, that she does not believe that her daughter Imodi will have a good upbringing if she lives with her father. That means you're saying that because of an accident happened and the, bo the man lost his son, that means he's not fit again to raise any children. If that is the case, that means other people in this world that have lost their children, because me, I even know family members that lost their children at a very tender age, accident happened. Are you saying that oh, a court should remove every children from the care of such parents that unfortunately they lose their children because of due to an accident? Is that what she's trying to say? You know that this man just got married to Chioma. They are just starting their relationship. The man wants to stop all this. You know, maybe if he does not have 50-50 shared custody of their child, he will be having to come to your house to come and visit his child, right? The man is married now. He wants to set his house in order. He does not want this situation where he's going to be mama, baby, mama, baby, mama. He wants to set his house in order and you want to stand as a stumbling block using their child, their late child as a weapon. You know, opening old wounds. These people lost their child in a very tragic way. They are just trying to, you know, get over the facts and you are trying to use that as a weapon against them. It is wrong and it is wicked. Out of sight is out of mind. And I think Sophia Momodo understands this. She knows that if the 50-50 thing works, Davido would not see her that often. So she wants that thing, that situation where the man is always driving in and out. Oh, she wants this. He will not drive and go and give her. Oh, oh, she wants to see you. You know, she knows that if he goes through, maybe she will not see Davido again. Maybe they will see once in a year, twice in a year, because somebody will be dropping the child over. Out of sight, out of mind. If the man is coming to her house to see the child, one day she feel wear night gown, you know? Before you know it, they will begin to knock again so that she go get story to come tell the blog. But the man wants to put his house in order. If she really wants to start up her own relationship, this should have been the perfect opportunity for her to do it. Because if the child spends time with the father, maybe four days in a week, that days where the child is not around, she will have the time to focus on her own relationship, focus her on her own man. Is it that she doesn't want to start up her own relationship? Is it that she doesn't want to start up her own life, independent of David? Because anytime she comes on the blog, anytime I hear Sophia Momodo's news, it's always Sophia Momodo Imode David. It's never, oh, Sophia Momodo, new relationship, her man is happy or, um, no. Let her be happy that this, she should, have, she should have been happy that this is happening because it will give her time to focus and build her own relationship. But now, because of this her, she wants to make it into a fight. But David is not ready to fight about the whole thing. So 
he has basically decided, I'm not going to fight with you about this. If you don't want the girl to have any kind of relationship with me, you don't want the shared custody, no problem. You can keep the girl. She is not going to remain a child forever. One day the girl will turn 18 and she will look for her father. And then it is on record that her father wanted to have 50-50 custody to have time with his daughter. But the mother did not agree. The mother did not allow it. Thank God the internet is here. Our videos are evidence to prove it. The video wanted to have, you know, more time with his daughter by via this 50-50 route. The mother said no. So the widow has decided to hands off, allow her to do whatever she wants to do. I pray he does not give her any money. When the girl grows up, the girl will see all the evidence and the girl will know the truth because I trust woman. She go, they tell the girl now, say, your daddy does not want to spend time with you. Your daddy does not love you. Your daddy is not looking for you. She will not tell the girl that, oh, your daddy wants 50-50 custody. He wants to spend equal time with you, but I don't want him to. She would not tell the girl that. Just as she has been coming on the blog to come and tell us that the widow is not spending time with the girl. The same thing she'll be telling the girl in the house. Oh, your daddy hates you. Maybe your daddy does not love you. That's, that's what most all these people, they do, which is wrong. Which is really wrong. But thank God we have the internet. There's nothing you can hide anymore. And she's the one that decided to make it public. So there's nothing she can hide. I just wish the video good luck. Let it see not spoil his honeymoon because he has a lot in the future. Let it see not spoil the honeymoon. This Sophia Momodu bringing up the late son. I just pray it does not really disturb the video, the enchama. Let her focus on, you know, raising her children that are here with her and let them forget all this distraction because it is all distraction. When that girl reach 18, she will look for her father and her father will love her and she will love her father and she will understand. And that's why you see that some children that single mother they raise, the children will end up hating their mother when they find out the truth. This is indeed a very painful situation. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section because I feel there is more to this. I feel uh, Sophia. In fact, a lot of things are going wrong at the same time, seriously. In as much as the video is wrong in some area, Sophia is also wrong, you know, bringing in the dead boy into this. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn that bell notification on, send up with our videos. You will be notified, and I'll see you on my next one.